In this video, we will talk about a tissue you probably never heard of. However, it's been in our body forever. In the next three minutes, I will tell you the story of fascia. Fascia covers the umbrella of different connected tissues inside the body. Fascia is made up of collagen, which is the most abundant protein in the body. It is also made up of elastin, hyaluronin, and water. Tendons and ligaments fall under the heading of fascia, however, cartilage does not. Bone is reinforced by fascia, however, there is an ongoing discussion in science to determine whether it can be classified as fascia or not. Science has only recently started to consider fascia as being a non-passive tissue inside the human body. Previously, fascia was disregarded during dissection and was considered filler material. In 2013, the first textbook on fascia was published. However, research is ongoing with lots of advancements and discoveries happening constantly. A live fascia tissue has different characteristics to fascia found on a cadaver. This poses an interesting challenge for scientists when attempting to understand fascia more in depth. Fascia connects the entire body from your head all the way down to your toes. It is one continuous material with no beginning or end. This is why it is considered the endless web. This fact points out potential flaws in our mainstream training, where isolation exercises are used instead of using properties of fascia to train the body as one holistic unit. Fascia integrates each layer of muscle, from the muscle cells to groupings of muscles and the whole body parts. This makes the body far stronger and more durable. Fascia also protects organs, wraps blood vessels, nerves, and reinforces the bone. This wrapping, integration, and reinforcing system of the fascia is multi-layered and changes in the fascia are transitions from one area to another. Superficial fascia sits just below the skin and is considered loose connected tissue, and it connects into the skin, further into the body, you will find deep fascia, which is considered organized fascia or proper fascia. Tendons and ligaments are great examples of this thicker form of the tissue. Visceral fascia protects organs and plays the large role of interoception, which will be discussed in the fascia and pain video. And parietal fascia plays the role of filling body cavities. Fascia holds the human body together through tensegrity. Tensegrity is tension combined with integrity. Think struts and strains. This tensegrity system can be impacted when injuries happen, especially when those injuries are reoccurring. When tension is lost in the tensegrity system, the body becomes weaker and more prone to injury and pain. At Hyperic Fascia Training, we utilize fascia's properties and behaviors to remodel the body, beginning from the feet to create upstream connections into the glutes and beyond. Because fascia is connected as one tissue, this is possible through some very specific technique unique to hyperarch fascia training. Through careful one-on-one -on -one HFD assessment and coaching, remodeling and repairs can be made to deform and damage fascia. Pain and dysfunctions can be resolved as well as development in athletic performance. See you in the next video.